Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a video for Click Kits. I am going to be using the August um, sketch for Click Kits and here it is. Super cute and I am going to um, pretty much stick to this sketch um, for the basic concept of it, of the layout. I did um, off camera pull out some cardstock and my um, some sprays. So the sprays that I'm going to use for my mixed media today is Dilusions Vibrant Turquoise and Heidi Swap Color Shine in Raspberry. Um, these two colors are both in this kit and I'm going to be pulling out this stencil. Um, it's just a stencil with a whole bunch of little dots all over it like in a circle. And on the sketch there were two circle elements kind of peeking out from behind the middle layer. So, um, excuse me, <clears throat> that's what I was kind of trying to go for. Um, and <laughs> you can see that I had some difficult um, times with this Heidi Swap color shine. I haven't used it in a while and um, the sprayer, the nozzle was clogged and yeah. So I'm going to clean that up and then I'm going to get to spraying again and still it comes out kind of wonky. Um, to be honest, it did not turn out the way that I wanted it to turn out. Um, it just kind of looks, I mean, you can tell there are little circles, but you can't. Um, it kind of honestly, uh, yeah, you can, I mean, they, they kind of just went together in a lot of places, but I'm okay with that. It's still like the cir circular element, um, and it still has those nice, deep, rich colors in it, which is in this kit. And so, yeah, um, I took the stencil and just this, the spray that was on top of the stencil, I put it on the paper on the opposite side. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go back in <laughs> in just a second with the stencil um, because I did go over, I didn't go over far enough. So I'm going to go back in with a stencil and use the sprays again and spray. Um, just when I'm doing this, since it is a 6 by 6 stencil, now if it was a 12 by 12 I wouldn't have worried, but I am kind of marking off where I am because I don't want that spray getting all over the place, um, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. I don't want it to go all over the page. So just, you know, a couple little sprays here and there and it works pretty well. Um, it's been a really long time since I've used sprays like this. Usually I just use them for splatters. Um, so yeah, it looks okay. It doesn't look terrible. Um, in the end, once it dries, it, I do really like it. It kind of looks like, I mean, you can tell that they're circles, but the blue or the turquoise and the raspberry color kind of mixed together and made like purple. And I'm okay with that too, because there is some hints of purple in this collection or in this, not, not this collection, this kit. Um, so I do end up liking the way that it looks. I do like that. It looks pretty. Um, and this, uh, piece of cardstock that I just pulled from my stash is that like raspberry color as well, which to me is really, really pretty. It's a nice, like rich color. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of cleaning up around my desk because y'all dilution spray stains really bad. <laughs> um, I did get it off my fingers with just soap. However, um, I really didn't have that much on my fingers. It wasn't terrible, but you just need to be careful with the spray and where you're spraying um, because that stuff is super vibrant. So here are the photos that I'm documenting today. So the sketch has two horizontal, is it horizontal? No, it's vertical. Heather, come on. Um, two vertical pictures and the photos that I'm documenting today are from a road trip last summer that we took. Um, we went to Maryland for my cousin's wedding. Emily was her flower girl and I have a lot more photos from the road trip, but these are just two that I kind of wanted to document together. So one of them is of my traveler's notebook sitting in my lap with my watercolor crayons. And I was just playing in my traveler's notebook, creating um, a background page. And then the other one is of my giant monster. <laughs> um, 
just because, you know, I actually took pictures of like my snacks that we got. I took pictures of us almost running out of gas and my husband just kept driving. He's a crazy person. But these are the two photos that I'm documenting today from this road trip. And um, so, yeah, they're smaller photos. I printed them together on one four by six um, photo paper. So again, off camera, I did take the one of the papers that had all of like the little paint tubes on it. And I cut out, I think, four or five of them in the colors that I wanted. So like the blues, the purples and the pinks. Um, as you can see here, and I'm going to kind of put them hanging off the page where the mixed media is done. Um, that was my idea. And at first I was going to use this adventure um, for the title from the Heidi Swap um, words that came in this kit. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to end up going in a different way um, and use some of the letter stickers from the July kit. Um, so that is one way that you can use up your kits. If you are finding it difficult to use your product and use your kits, um, sometimes I do this. I'll take something from a previous kit that I didn't quite use up all the way, especially if it's like it will work with anything. Like the letters are white and they would work with any kit that you have. So I just brought them into this kit and I'm just going to use them on this layout. So right now I'm just looking through the little tiny words that came in the kit as well. And I am going to end up using one that says lovely. Um, and I'm using one of the, uh, or some of the die cuts from this um, kit as well. The little um, paint with the paint brushes, I think is adorable. And I thought that was perfect since it was a photo of me actually like art journaling. Um, and then I have the little butterflies up at the left hand um, top. And then on the right top, I have a little cluster of the flowers that came in the die cuts. These die cuts, you guys are so pretty. They're vibrant, they're watercolory, and they're really, really pretty colors. So that is kind of the that's kind of what my layout's going to look like, but now I'm going to go ahead and start adhering everything down. I did bring in a doily for my stash as well. I just felt like I needed something behind the photos um, to kind of give it a little bit of a balance. And um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just adhering all of that together, I'm trying to get it exactly where I just had it, but you guys know how that is. <laughs> that almost never happens. Um, but I really, really like the way that this looks. Um, I think it's good to document little stories like this. And if you haven't been following me for a while, um, and you're like, where's your journaling? Why do you not journal? I do. Um, most of the time, my stuff is just kind of everyday memories. There's not really a whole lot of journaling behind it. The photo kind of tells the story or the title tells the story. But when I do, you know, feel the need to journal, I usually do it on the back of the layout um, just because I really like using pretty things. <laughs> um, and taking up real estate with journaling sometimes and my handwriting is terrible. <laughs> I feel like it takes away from the layout. Um, maybe if I would take the time to type it out and print it, I think that I would probably do journaling on the front of my pages more often. But um, yeah, I, I just don't, I always forget to do that. So um, yeah. <laughs> So I'm just adhering these little butterflies down. They're so pretty. I love the color. They're like a, like a purplish blue. They're just really pretty. Um, and like I said, these colors are so vibrant and so rich. Um, I cannot wait. I know I, I've already posted my unboxing of my September kit, but I cannot wait to dig in. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for me using the September kit. Um, for upcoming projects and um, I'm going to use some liquid glue to glue down these little flowers um, and again I'm going to do like a little cluster uh, just layer them on top of each other just like that and I believe the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add splatters because what's a layout what's a heather layout without splatters right oh no I gotta do my title 
So these are the letters that I was just talking about. Um, these came in the July kit and I really, really like them. They're a really nice, um, like smaller letters, but they're, I don't know if thick is the right word, but they're not like super skinny, which I really don't care for super skinny ones because I feel like they're going to rip sometimes. Um, so I really, really like these and they worked perfectly. So my title is just kind of generic. It's just going to be a road trip because that's what these photos are documenting. And, um, then I'm going to bring out those two mists that I did the mixed media with and do some splatters, um, kind of around the page. And then that is going to be my layout for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Down below in the description box, click kits will be linked as well as my coupon code so you guys can get a discount in the shop. They have lots of fun goodies in there and I will have um, the email that you can email if you want to to start a subscription. Um, if you guys would like to subscribe to Click Kits, just send, shoot them an email. And if there are some spots available, they will um, let you know. So I believe that that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope that you guys have an amazing day and don't forget to spread love and be kind. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.